Every Reaper user has a folder on the computer that is completely disorganized from all the years of use. In my last live stream, we actually spent a full hour getting my Reaper media folder down from 570 files down to just five. And yeah, it was boring, but we did learn some things and I'm gonna share those tips with you. So the folder I'm talking about is Reaper Media. This is found in your documents folder. So C slash user, uh, you know, your user folder for your documents. On Windows, it's called My Documents. On a Mac, it's called Documents. And then Reaper, when it installs, creates a folder called Reaper Media. Whenever you record something into an unsaved project, it goes there. If you never set up your preferences to use a different folder for projects, this is the folder it uses. If you've never looked in this folder before, uh, it may be a nightmare because there's just so many different files, some useful, some not. Let's get into some of the tips. There was over 570 just from about a year and a half of use uh, in this Reaper Media folder. And to get through that, I just grab a selection and drop them into a Reaper project. And I would choose this option, sequential time positions on single track as my insert multiple. Now, some of these files here are clearly blank, uh, but you may have some files that are nearly blank. You may have imported a hundred files and you don't uh, have a quick way of knowing which one is blank, uh, just silence, uh, which ones are useful. Let's just get rid of the ones that are like silent or nearly silent quickly. So I'm gonna select them. I'm going to open up the action list with a question mark key and search for threshold. Xrame has a script in Repack called keep selected only active takes audio under or over peak volume threshold. So we'll run this. And now we can choose if it's under a certain threshold. So if it's under minus 60, and we'll do a minus sign here, that should change my selection to just those files that are um, under minus 60. So this is like anytime you're like, you hit record and oh, you didn't have the mic phantom power turned on, so we'll stop. Or like, what does this record mode do? Just trying out different things. Obviously things that you don't want to keep forever, don't need to be on your hard drive. Uh, this is a quick way of getting rid of that. I had a lot of files, probably 200 files that were just short snippets of silence where I needed to record some audio in just to have something on the track for a demonstration. So I've selected all the audio files that are silent. And then the next one is delete take source, I think it is. This is SWS action. So there's delete selected items, takes and source files, no undo. So it's going to actually delete it from your hard drive, from Reaper, which saves time because you know, if I had 50 files here and, I, and only some of them were selected in Reaper, I wouldn't know how to select them here without you know, being very careful about what I'm doing. So if I run this action, delete selected items, takes and source files, only these three files here are selected, but I can run that. And you can see from my finder window that those files got deleted. Now I'm left with one file here that um, I think I'm gonna wanna keep in my sample library. That's a pretty cool sound. I know that this is already edited because I imported this from my sample library back into that folder just so I have some audio, audio to work with here, but it doesn't have a good name. So we will double click on this to open up item properties. And then we have this option here to rename file. So now this is bringing up the rename file function of the operating system, essentially. We're gonna save this as a new name and we're gonna keep it in the same folder. So since two, dash zero zero two dash glued dot wave that's not a very good file name we're just going to call this something like uh, dark synth pulse and that names it both inside of reaper you can see that here and actually on the hard drive and so now that's easy to grab copy that go to my sample library and then put that into my my loops folder and I'll just paste that in there. And, and yeah, you should probably cut and paste, but I, I pressed the wrong button. So essentially three actions there. You could use this action here, uh, rename take source files, no undo. And you can rename it from there. 
there was the X-Frame action to uh, select uh, select keep selected only item only active take audio under or over peak volume threshold. That's a useful one for finding those silent items or nearly silent items. And then there was the delete source from X uh, from SWS delete source take delete active take source file in selected items or really any of these will work uh, to delete the file from the disk right from Reaper. I think those those three things there are very useful. So as I said, I went from 570 something files down to five. A great improvement. I didn't need to back up those files. I don't need to have copies of those files that I'm never going to use. And I found a bunch of sounds for my sample library that I can use again and actually access because they're they're named and all that stuff. Let me know in the comments how big your Reaper Media folder was. If you have any other scripts or actions that will be helpful uh, for this sort of cleanup, auditioning, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully this has helped and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blogs or Patreon and visit reaper.blog for more tutorials.